stocks, we figure of 80 to 90 percent. Can we hope for still greater improvement in the future? I think there's little question about that. You must remember that this study was something that was undertaken uh, about a year ago based upon plans and upon vaccines that were begun in preparation more than a year, a year and a half ago. In the course of the subsequent period of time, we've learned a great deal more, not only about preparation of vaccine, but about use uh, of vaccine. Our contention and the thing that we discussed today uh, has been uh, that it should be possible to prevent paralytic poliomyelitis by the proper use of a properly constituted vaccine. Now, according to our present standards, we would not consider that the vaccine as used uniformly last year was a properly constituted vaccine. It was a perfectly fine and splendid experimental vaccine to obtain the kind of evidence that Dr. Francis uh, so carefully and skillfully uh, prepared uh, for, uh, uh, his, uh, from which he prepared his findings. Now, the thing to remember is that this is a continuous process. And all that we can say is that the experience as acquired a year ago was as reported today. Uh, the experience with a test of a vaccine uh, that could be made today is likely to be considered. Uh, Dr. Salk, will this new procedure bring the vaccine closer to full effectiveness? Yes, it will. That's fully the expectation, and more than that, it will bring it uh, closer to the point of producing long-term immunity, which is really the objective that we hope ultimately to achieve, primarily because we're interested not only in reducing the amount of paralytic poliomyelitis, but to reduce it to a point where people will no longer be fit. Uh, well, one final question. Uh, what are your present plans, or your present personal plans, now that the polio vaccine report has been completed? To think about it. Thank you very much, Dr. Salk.